America suffered two mass shooting tragedies this past weekend. One was carried out by a right-wing extremist and the other was carried out by a left-wing extremist. The El Paso gunman said the Republican Party was terrible. He also supported universal income, universal health care and was an environmentalist, which are all left-wing positions. However, he did hold far-right extremist views on immigration and that seems to have been the overriding motive behind the attack, so it is accurate to call him a right-wing extremist. Despite the shooter writing in his manifesto that his beliefs predated Trump and were not inspired by Trump, many on the left rushed to exploit the tragedy for political grist by blaming it on President Trump. Yeah, one problem with that, if you're gonna hold Trump responsible for the El Paso mass shooting, you're gonna have to hold Elizabeth Warren responsible for the Dayton mass shooting. Because the Ohio shooter supported Elizabeth Warren and said he was going to vote for her. He also described himself as a leftist who wanted socialism. He expressed praise and sympathy for the Antifa terrorist who attempted to firebomb an ICE facility, calling him a martyr. He invoked Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez as concentration camp rhetoric. He tweeted, vote blue for God's sake, retweeted Bernie Sanders numerous times, retweeted Antifa accounts numerous times, retweeted right-wing watchers Jared Holt, and tweeted, quote, kill every fascist. He was a left-wing extremist. See, this is why I don't rush to politicize tragedies like a lot of shameless grifters out there. As soon as you start playing the blame game, it blows back in your face. Gotta wonder how many more domestic terrorists are going to turn out to be followers of Prison Planet before he realizes his words have bloody consequences. Gotta wonder how many mass shooters followed Mike Stuckberry. Oh, the most recent one. Awkward. And you liked his comment. Again, awkward. Mehdi Hassan. After El Paso, we can no longer ignore Trump's role in inspiring mass shootings. The Ohio mass shooter responding to Mehdi Hassan. Arm, train, prepare. Again. Awkward. We need to call it out. Fox News is a hate for profit machine that gives a megaphone to racists and conspiracists. Yeah, maybe not the best time to be grandstanding about extremism when the dude who literally just killed nine people is your biggest fan. Awkward. Many of the same people pointing the finger of blame at conservatives for El Paso scrambled to delete their tweets that the Dayton shooter had interacted with. After today, there is no longer any room for nuance. The president is a white nationalist terror leader. His supporters all of them are by definition white nationalist terror supporters. The MAGA hat is a KKK hood and this evil racist scourge must be eradicated from society. So under that logic, when one Islamic terrorist blows himself up, all Muslims are to blame, right? Replace Trump supporters with Hispanics in that tweet and it could have been lifted straight from the shooter's manifesto. The answer to extremism isn't more extremism. The fact is that we have a huge problem with violent political extremism on both sides. Antifa and white supremacists are two sides of the same coin. Both obsessed with identity politics, both racist, and both think that violence is a legitimate means to advance their cause. But only one side not only doesn't disavow extremists, but actively encourages them. Only one side literally runs softball pieces on major news networks praising political extremists. If you openly support Antifa, a terror group that uses violent extremism to advance its political agenda, you don't have the moral high ground to lecture anyone else on violent extremism. After these mass shootings, one by a right-wing extremist, one by a left-wing extremist, only one side of the political spectrum immediately rushed to exploit the bloodshed to push their agenda, and it wasn't President Trump or his supporters. Mass shootings happened before Trump, and they'll happen after Trump. The cause isn't Trump. Is this really going to be solved by passing the right gun control laws, or is there something far deeper wrong with American society. Young men are growing up in a culture that has lost faith in itself and offers nothing but meaningless nihilism. A neoliberal dystopia that indoctrinates young people to shun authenticity, community and family in pursuit of vapid consumerism and fleeting fame. A culture that informs narcissism-prone young people that anyone can gain instant notoriety by generating controversy. A society that has normalized and accelerated the evisceration of the family unit and faith. A culture that celebrates serial killers. A news media that gives mass shooters the ghastly fame they crave. What else could this society produce than atomized, desperate losers whose only recourse to a life of relentless mediocrity 
mediocrity is to lash out in violence. We also have a generation of young white men who are being told by society and the culture that they're to blame for all the world's historical and contemporary evils. Is that message going to decrease or increase the likelihood of these young white men being lulled into resentful extremist ideologies. If you completely disenfranchise young white men and basically tell them they're a cancer on society, some people on the fringe are going to respond to that with violence. Is deplatforming and censorship the solution? We've had a solid year of deplatforming and censorship in the name of stopping hate and violence. Did it stop hate and violence? Or did driving such ideologies underground where they can't be challenged or red flagged actually make hate and violence worse. The El Paso gunman was driven by his concern over the demographic replacement of white people. Why is it okay to talk about the demographic replacement of white people so long as you're celebrating it? But then if you express any concerns that it might have some negative consequences, suddenly you're in league with mass shooters. Is it better to have that debate out in the open or drive it underground, where extremists who become radicalized by it can't be monitored. And is it really a good idea for the culture to celebrate an entire race of people dying off? Or is that racist and bigoted, and is it fanning the flames of extremism? White supremacism is a scourge. Anti-white racism is a scourge. Both feed and sustain each other. Both have to be challenged. Left-wing extremism is a scourge. Right-wing extremism is a scourge. Both feed and sustain each other. Both have to be challenged. Violence needs to be vehemently disavowed by all sides and never legitimized under any circumstances. It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.